If you still write your listings from the scratch week of the week of the week, you should better watch this. Good day mate and welcome back to another workflow video here on this channel. Last time I showed you how to write a listing for a niche and how to transfer the data from one design to all others and I hope it already made your workflow smarter. Today I show you how you can use data again how you can make customized templates for a niche so you can prepare them. And I also show you a replace function where you can work with variables in your listing and simply replace them. So let's start. First things first, I just want to clear up a little rumor that maybe confused some people because we're now in the web and we have now here the design management and everything. This design management is optional. You don't have to pay for this and you don't have to use it if you don't want to. Every user also without a subscription has always two gigabyte. And this two gigabyte is for around 1000 POD design that you can upload here, that you can prepare, that you can download and then simply delete them out of the design management so you have space for new designs. So you can use this if you want to. We are pretty sure it makes you work a lot easier storing your design, filtering designs and, your, and so on, but you don't have to use it if you don't want to. And now let's go to the video. The name for our online cloud design management is probably the wrong one because it's not just the design itself, it's also everything related. So of course the listing that is also stored here online in the design management, but also local if you use flying upload just on your PC. And for example, what else we have here when we go to show details is an upload history. So you always know where your design is already uploaded. And now I show you a use case you probably have nearly every, every week or every few days. For example, these are my new designs, my designer created. And I already had this topic before. I wrote listings before and I now want to transfer the data in a few seconds. What you can do now is simply mark the designs, go with them to the edit window. Of course, you can also load them directly in here. And then what you can do now, you have now two possibilities. First one is you click here on load, you search for a similar design, in this case, Australia. And then you have it here. And what you can do now here is you have the option apply listing to directly in the edit. So you can select the uh, designs you want to transfer and then the data will be transferred. For example, the first one will have the products, the um, yeah, prices and the listing and so on. What is also possible and is maybe the, the piece smarter is if you just have designs without listing, you can here go again to tagging options and you have here apply listing history to and this will open you the design management in a pop-up again you can search again for a design that already has a listing and then simply apply it to all in the edit so in this case you don't even have to load a design in the that has a listing already you can simply transfer it directly from the design management and even if you don't use the design management, you simply need one design that has a listing or has that listing that you want and then you can transfer it in a few seconds. And yeah, then our designs would be ready and then you can click here on upload batch, you get a zip, you can load it to the local uploader and then simply start your upload. So this is use case one, the second one will be how I make a 
template if I'm not totally wrong. It's how you make a template, yeah. Okay, <laughs> see you in a few seconds. If you say now you're a professional and you don't work with designs, you only work with organized templates, I have something for you. So if you wanna make it more specific and you wanna work for example with variables, you upload a design into the design management, for example this one that is purely declared just as template and this is why it is there. You can see I already uploaded that one and if I see the tags in the design management it has template of course and it is for countries. So this is how I yeah, declare that one and we can also have a look into it in the edit what I did with that one. I enabled the product I want to have, the types, the standard colors, the marketplace and this is now the interesting. I made a customized text with variables. It's that var1, here I have this var2, var3 and so on. You can switch based on the yeah, country in this case you have. And we will replace that simply through keywords and create our listing in that way. So how do we do this now? Very simple, very easy and it's very similar to the step we did before. So we have here our country template. We just have for that use case and we stay in Australia. We have here Australia designs again. Um, I just clear here the listing so they are completely empty. Perfect. I go with them back into the edit and this is the same situation we had a few minutes before. So new designs, completely empty listings, no data at all. We go to the tagging options. We go again to the apply listing history too. It's the first one, but <laughs> here you can search for example also for template because I tagged it as a template. Then I select that one, I apply it to all my designs I have in the edit and we have now exactly that data. And what we have now or we want to use now is of course the variables. And this is where the great thing of the new edit of Flying Upload is coming in. You have here advanced options and you have here a text replace feature. So we have var1 and we wanna change it with Australia for example and then you can by word or in this case probably makes more sense case sensitive and then replace it in all listings and then you have here the text difference so you can see you have full control where is what changed and if this is okay because I know it is okay I made that variable just for that you click replace and you see that your var1 is now Australia and we have a var2 and a var3 and what we do is um, typical keywords down under for Australia. We make case sensitive again, we replace in all listings again and you see how our listing is forming and all we have now is our var three and let's say Sydney and we replace again in all listings and uh, did I yeah, all listings and then replace and you see we have now here also Sydney. So this is our country template in full bloom used and you have now your variables you can work with. We replace them with whatever country you want. You can do this for sports, you can do this for animals, uh, for whatever, for events. And you have here another way how you can create templates, how you can use them and now you're ready to upload again exactly like we did before simply from the yeah, edit with a listing itself. If you come from the local flying upload because you were here before, you will this know as the profile manager or the suggestion manager. So 
you can create here with the tags your suggestions again your profiles again it's more all in one now and then simply use it again so you can of course also make a template if you have it specific for a hedgehog or for a cat for a dog and so on so this is how you can use it this is how you can transfer it and with the apply listing history tool plus the replace functions we have here you have all possibilities this is a use case i have never used before and i created like five minutes ago <laughs> so you can see the great thing about the flying upload edit is that it is not like you have a spreadsheet you enter your data in the spreadsheet you load it into the tool you click upload no you are free to make your own workflow this is the important thing the tool is for everyone this edit is for everyone and it should be no matter if you're the beginner with five designs or the pro with 1000 designs a week you can use this for your advantage and you can outsmart everything with that one we are sure about that and we develop every day that it stays also like this in the future so <laughs> if you like this video like this video subscribe to this channel and if you have any questions simply write it down in the comments we will answer that very very soon thank you for your attention and i wish you a wonderful day